been a lot of folks that have been, have been asking me about review samples and how to get review samples. And this is one of the biggest things in YouTube, uh, at least with a channel such as mine, where uh, it's dependent upon getting samples or actually being able to buy samples to review. Um, so you know whether you're looking for uh, a $10 Stroppen compound, a $70 whetstone, or even a $350 whetstone to $400, $500 knives. Um, I'll tell you how I went about getting them and hopefully it will be able to um, clear out some of the stigma uh, out there with review samples and what they actually mean uh, for you, the YouTuber, and for the companies that are giving them to you. Uh, right around 800 subscribers, you know, give or take a few dozen, um, I reached out to a bunch of companies. I reached out to Victorinox, Zwilling, um, Vustoff, um, basically all the knife companies, uh, all the major knife distributors. And uh, Zwilling was in uh, contact with me for a good few months before uh, it kind of all stopped. And I don't know why that happened. Uh, Victorinox, the same thing. Shun, uh, all, basically all the big companies were actually very receptive and very open to talking to me. Uh, Vustoff was the only company that actually sent me a set of knives, uh, which I am very grateful for. And so um, at 800 subscribers, I received my first set of review samples. And I was very, very happy with that. My Ricky Tran channel grew from 800 subscribers to, by the end of the year, I think right around 5,000 subscribers. Um, and I, I kept reaching out to the companies that I originally reached out to, you know, Kai, Shun, Zwilling, and Global, and everything kind of went dead silent. And even Vustoff actually stopped replying to my emails. I have no idea why to this day. I can't tell you what happened. Um, there were no bad exchanges and email or phone calls it just they just stopped all all of those companies stopped replying to my emails and phone numbers uh, phone calls so around january of 2017 january of this year i launched perfection and uh, perfection went from zero to i want to say eight thousand subscribers in the first three months of the year so it grew two three it grew like three times faster than ricky tran did or maybe even four times faster if you were equated by months. Um, I don't know how it happened. I don't know, you know, and most of my subscribers on Ricky Tran didn't even know about uh, <laughs> Perfection. But at the at the 8,000 subscriber mark, uh, a couple of companies started reaching out to me. And uh, they were saying, hey, and at that time, I, I, till this day, I still haven't taken any money for a review. So just so you guys understand that. Uh, I get a lot of companies asking, hey, can I pay you for a review? Because uh, a lot of companies assume that. I guess most YouTubers who are bigger will, will demand money. And a lot of these companies are reaching out to not only me, but to other knife reviewers on YouTube. And so they probably get a lot of the same thing. Um, so at 8,000 subscribers, I got my, my first solicitation from a brand. Somewhere, I wanna say around 13, 14,000 subscribers, I, I, stopped asking for, subscri I stopped asking for companies to send me product because uh, I had at that time enough companies reaching out to me that I didn't really need to reach out to anybody else. Um, so, and today, I mean, uh, you know, we are now closer to, you know, we're, well, we're now in August, or is it September now? It's September, uh, September 5th is the official day today. Um, I now in my studio have over two, I wanna say about 200 knives and about 100 whetstones, okay? Um, all, 90% of them are review samples. Um, so <laughs> the que so that's just kind of my history of review samples, okay? Uh, I wanna give you guys not, I wanna give you guys that, that timeline, not so that you guys um, are really impressed with what I have or I wanna show off, but I wanna kind of give you guys kind of an understanding of how my, the progression of my channel has been. So the question is, how do you guys get review samples? There are many ways. Uh, one, if your channel is massive and uh, every company wants to be a part of your channel, such as let's say like Unbox Therapy, you know, he's got, I don't know how many millions. The last time I saw his channel was uh, like two, three months ago and it was like seven million subscribers. So for him, he just gets paid to review products all day long. So a company that can get seen on his channel is just happy, right? So they'll pay how many thousands of dollars to be seen on his channel. Um, that's one way. Uh, the second way is if you are a celebrity and people just, uh, companies just want to give you stuff to be seen on you, whether to be viewed uh, on your channel or to be reviewed on your channel or just to be seen on you. That's another way. 
The third way is if a company sees your channel while it's growing or whether it's small or big and they say, you know what, we want to be a part of what's happening there. And that's essentially what happened with my channel. And I think for you guys, if you guys are starting out your YouTube channel, go with that route. Okay, and this is why I think this is the best way for you. Uh, so what happened was before I actually got any of my review samples, I went out and invested um, quite a bit of money and I bought uh, a dozen whetstones and a half a dozen knives. And so in my research, I just found like there were there weren't a lot of good reviews out there for the stuff that I was looking for. And so that's why when I bought those dozen stones and half a dozen knives, I said, you know, let's just put some of the content out there and just to show people what I'm doing. I'm not teaching anyone how to sharpen knives. I'm just showing you what my results are on this stone with this knife. And that, that actually worked well. A lot of people were, were resonating with that. And so when I reached out to Vustoff with my initial uh, email to them, I said, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. I'm a very, very small YouTuber. This is, here's my channel. It's got 800 subscribers. Uh, would you guys be open to sending me some knives? They were actually very happy. They sent me a, a, a set of knives. And so for you who are starting out, instead of thinking, how do I get review samples? How do I, who do I call to get review samples? Invest a small amount of money, whether it's you know a few hundred bucks, whatever it is to get yourselves, let's say in, the, in this case, a knife channel, if you wanna start your own knife channel, go and buy five or six cheap knives, $20 knives, $30 knives, uh, $10 knives. Go and buy $10 stones, $20 whetstones, and just you know, buy a small set of these things and start putting together content, whether it's review content, whether it's sharpening content, uh, whatever, whatever it may be, just start putting together a body of work, okay? Because without that body of work, your requests are empty and they don't mean anything to anybody. Um, even if you reach out to the nicest uh, marketing manager at a small company that is looking, that is desperately looking for a YouTuber to review their product, when they see your channel with only one video or no videos and no subscribers, and you're asking for a $300 knife, that's not gonna happen. Right, so you guys have to think about what is in it for the person you are approaching. I know that's a very uh, business oriented way, but you have to think about the the companies that are giving you product, it's an investment on their part, not only financially, but it's a risk on their part to give you a product for free or for a discount. Um, so you have to think about before you actually reach out to a company, think about what your channel has to offer. Uh, you may think right now that you know you have a great idea, you have a great um, idea for a show, and you have no subscribers, you never shot a video, but your idea is amazing. That's not enough to actually pitch to get product. Okay, I know that's you know that might be disheartening to some people to hear, but it's the truth. No company will actually invest in a, an idea, especially one that's that's going to require them to give them product that they are not going to have control of especially if you're not a production company that has had any sort of track record. So before you reach out to a company and ask for review samples, make sure that you have a body of work that you can have to show, but you need to have a proof of concept. So without that proof of concept, without that visual for you to show another company what your videos will look like and how their products will be displayed in your videos, you're really giving them nothing to go on and they can't go on trust, they can't go on faith that you are a great guy or a gal that's gonna make the next, your, your, your YouTube channel is gonna be the next big, you know, million, do, million subscriber video uh, or, or channel. So, you know, I really uh, encourage you guys, if you guys want review samples, work backwards. Don't think of how to get review samples. Think about building your channel, building an audience, and from there, companies will start reaching out to you. It might be a thousand subscribers before they start reaching out to you. It may be 8,000, which is my case. Uh, and but whatever that number is you need to think about your channel and your content as opposed to thinking from the how do I get how do I get review samples you know when I started this channel it was never about review samples it was about me just having some fun sharpening some knives and just reviewing what I got for myself really I put a camera there and I was just reviewing stuff that I was doing and and somehow uh, you know luckily people liked the, what I was putting together and enough people saw it that they subscribed and then enough people subscribed that big companies saw that and say, hey, we wanna be a part of what you're doing. Uh, and that's really where you, you'll get your most success. Because if you reach out to a company now and you have got, let's just say you have a thousand subscribers and you reach out to 20 companies, you might get one or two that will respond. 
you know, uh, and, and also, by the way, if you reach out too early, which was probably my case, if you reach out too early and you have no subscriber base, you will, you know, I guess in my, in my, in my experience, get blacklisted. You know, I'm blacklisted by pretty much every com every major company out there. Uh, so, you know, that's just my, that's my experience though. So before you reach out, uh, make sure you have a good game plan. Make sure you have a content, a body of content that you can show to your people that you are reaching out to. And something that I really want you guys to think about is instead of reaching out to the big guys, if, uh, you know, I'm only speaking in knife terms because that's what my channel is uh, or does. Um, don't wish, don't reach out to Vostov, Zwilling, uh, Sha, you know, Kai Shun. Reach out to the smaller brands. More more than likely, you will have a much much higher rate of success if you reach out to a small individual company versus a big powerhouse company that sells hundreds of millions of dollars of knives every single year. So you know, reach out to you know, go to Amazon if you want to do Amazon products. Just go to Amazon and just type in Chef Knives, and there'll be dozens and even hundreds of individual brands selling knives on Amazon. And so you find their brand, it will be sold by, let's say, um, Brand ABC, Google and Brand ABC, go to their website, go to their Facebook page, and reach out to them that way. I can almost promise you that if you go that route, you will have a much higher rate of success uh, of one, getting a response, and two, potentially uh, having a much lower bar set as to what they would require to send you a product. You know, if you have 20 subscribers, maybe your brand will actually take that risk if they like your content, if they like what you're doing, if they like your personality, uh, if they like the message that you are presenting on your videos, you will have a much higher chance of getting a response and a positive response from them versus going to a, a Vostov where you, even my channel now, I don't get response. <laughs> I don't get a response from them. So, you know, my advice to you is if you guys want product, don't think about how to, uh, don't start your channel thinking about how to get product create the content that you want to create, make that content, okay, have a proof of concept, grow your audience to a small, to a small number, it could be 1,000, 2,000 subscribers, and then start branching out and ask for a product. But don't do it too early. If you do it too early, you're gonna have a really tough time getting the attention of those companies again, okay? So that is it, guys. Uh, hopefully this video was a bit helpful. I know it's very broad and it's, it's a very broad topic and, um, you know, and my my experience is it may not be what you guys are going to see in your own rate of success, uh, but feel free to reach out to me. I will answer, I want to answer one question, at least one question in every video that I do or every vlog that I do. And that'll hopefully get you guys thinking differently about how to get content and thinking how your channel uh, can grow. And, uh, and I, again, I wanna, I wanna help uh, my subscribers, you know, succeed in this uh in this game of youtube you know <laughs> um hopefully that doesn't come off too offensive but uh yeah and i'm um, you know and just to be clear my channel is not financially successful you know i get review samples so don't uh, don't think that i'm coming from this high and mighty uh position where i am uh, just a, you know see myself as a successful use youtuber uh, i'm not i'm a my youtube channel is a hobby and so I think of it that way, that way I, you know, when my channel doesn't grow as fast every single month or I don't get the response that I get that I would hope from different companies, it doesn't really hurt because I'm not taking myself too seriously. Um, I'm not expecting that my channel is gonna be the next big thing. I'm having a lot of fun while I'm doing it and luckily it has paid off. I'm getting a lot of cool review samples of knives and whetstones to play with. Uh, I'm getting a good feedback, a great feedback from my audience. So for me, uh, that is, successful right so yeah hopefully that makes sense and uh, again thank you for being here and i'll catch you guys in the next video